Hello everybody, it's time for a new edition of Tanks Cook, and this time we are making meatloaf. Now to make a proper meatloaf, it's ideal to put it in the fridge the night before and let it mold together. So all you have to do is put it in the oven, cook for an hour, maybe an hour, 10 minutes, and it will come out perfect. So here we go, making meatloaf. First, uh, let me get my friggin' can opener. Come on, you could do it. Of course, you put a pound of meat in, you start breaking the meat up, it's going to be adding a lot of spices. We want to put some accent in, of course, accent, it wakes up food flavors. You put some lemon pepper in. Some uh, garlic. Some traditional salt and pepper. Hey, it opened! It's a miracle! Yay! Alright, let's see. We want to put a little Heinz 57 sauce into our meatloaf. A little steak sauce into the meatloaf. Believe it or not, these two sauces, I only use them for meatloaf. Most people would use them for steak and other things. Is this empty? We take some Lipton onion soup. One package of Lipton onion soup. We uh, put our tomato sauce in. We leave a little bit of tomato sauce in the can for uh, an explanation that will be coming later. We take some breadcrumbs. I need to open this can of breadcrumbs. Look at this. They show you this full can. Look at this. This can was just opened. Look. Look how much is that le le leaking out of here. I've been ripped off. You see, they sneak a little bit out. They sneak a little bit out and charge you a little bit more. That's what they call downsizing. They screw you. They screw you with the ingredients. We'll put one cup of breadcrumbs. I prefer the Italian style breadcrumbs. Got a little zestier taste to them. Look at this. Half can's already gone. I only used one cup. Mm. 
what the breadcrumbs do, yeah, breadcrumbs do is they actually help keep the meatloaf moist. And to bind the meatloaf together, you need two eggs. One egg. Two eggs. Then you get your mixing gloves on. And then you mix it all up. Squishin', squishin', scratchin', squishin', 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 scratchin', squishin', squishin'. Mix it up all real good. So you got one big meat lump here. Then you take your meatloaf pan. You spray the pan with some Pam. I reckon I'm going to need some pan. Boom. And then you, what you do is... Make sure no meat's left in the bowl. And then you... Stick it in here. Try to even it out as best as you can. And what you do is you take some left for the excess uh, tomato sauce and you cover it on top like this. Now, you cover it with a nice piece of foil, you stick it in the fridge, and what's going to happen is tomorrow you put it in the oven. At 350 for an hour, maybe a little over an hour. Don't want to go. You don't want to go past uh, the 70 minutes. So you mostly want to put it as maybe 65 minutes, and it comes out perfect. Good eats.